Starship its package and weight features allow you to import order weights from your e-commerce platform and assign orders to preset boxes. In this tutorial, we'll run through how to import your order weights and use them in combination with default packages to automate this aspect of your order fulfillment. Package sizes and weights are configured by heading into settings then package setup. You can change the units used here by heading into settings, options and adjusting the display weight unit and display size unit. Here you can create packages based on the following parameters. Name. This is the name of the box as it appears on labels and in the packaging list. Your business may use a box naming system which you can use here. Weight. The weight of the box when filled. This is only used if weight information is missing or set to zero. Make this the default package. Select this option to make this package your default. The box will be selected each time you open the shipping screen. Length, width and height the dimensions of the box. If applicable, these will be used to calculate shipping costs. Unit type. Select from a preset range of package types. Add packaging weight to your box. Allows you to specify the weight of the packaging material. This weight will be added on top of the box weight when shipping. Only use this if your packaging material adds a significant amount of weight, for example wooden crates or pallets. Add minimum and maximum weight to your box. This allows you to specify a minimum and maximum box weight. Your orders will automatically assign to a package based on the weight parameters. Next, we'll cover how these settings can be used in practice. The most common charging method for postage is by dead weight. In this scenario, we only need to set up one package as the order's total weight will be imported from your e-commerce platform and the package dimensions will not be needed. Make sure you set this package up however, as if there are none configured, Starship it will use a default size. Note, if items are significantly smaller than the package, then we recommend setting up packages with dimensions, as couriers may charge on the larger volumetric weight. First, navigate to settings, then package setup. Check the box for automatically calculate the package weight from order items. This tells Starship it to calculate the package weight based on the individual order contents. Next, in the Packages section, create a package. Name the package and add in a default weight. This setting will only be used if weight information is missing from the order. Check the box to make this the default package. Click Save and you're good to go. If you're charged volumetrically, you may want to set up several default boxes and assign orders to them based on weight and dimensions. Select the checkbox for automatically calculate the package dimensions from order items. Note that this setting is not yet implemented by all platforms, so we recommend setting up your default packages and dimensions below. Now we need to set up our preset box sizes and assign orders to them based on weight. For example, I'll set up a box with dimensions 40 by 15 by 15 cm. I'll check the box to add minimum and maximum weight, and I'll use this box for all orders under 1 kg. I'll then set up my next box with larger dimensions. This box will be used for orders which weigh between 1 and 5 kilograms. You can set up as many box sizes as you need and orders will be assigned to the preset boxes depending on their weight and dimensions. Be sure to set one of your boxes as the default. This will be used when there's no box set up for the weight and dimensions of an imported order. Note that changing your box setup can result in extra charges by courier companies. In particular, many couriers will charge based on the larger weight, whether that be volumetric or dead weight. So please ensure you bear this in mind and enter the correct information when you set your boxes up. If you're unsure, talk to your account manager for more information based on your business needs. Check for links in the video description and visit our knowledge base for more helpful tips and tutorials.